Much of the time, we tend to think that some of the world's most notorious and dangerous animals are living their lives out in pristine habitats far away from human touch. But some of the most interesting creatures are those that are synanthropic, or have the ability to live alongside us humans, even in the most disturbed and urbanized of areas. Today's video is a complete surprise, because while walking through a shopping plaza in northern Florida, I noticed one of the world's most famous and potentially deadly animals, the black widow spider. Let's get up close to this beautiful animal and learn why these amazing arachnids should be not feared, but respected and appreciated. All right, children, we're in an oddly urbanized area right now. We're actually just outside of a store in a parking lot. There are a bunch of cars around, a lot of urbanized movement going around, but that is not bothering this beautiful spider. Right behind me right here is the Southern Black Widow and a massive female at that. She has an abdomen or an epistosoma absolutely full of eggs. She is almost certainly gonna get her egg sac ready in probably just a few days from now. But that's not the only part of her that's absolutely huge. Her leg span too is just massive, especially by widow spider standards. I have never seen a black widow this big before, or a widow spider in general, not a red, not a brown this big. This is just an impressive individual. Also, it's not only the size of this individual that's impressive, she has some gorgeous patterns for a southern black widow. You can see on the top of her epistosoma, there's these little white circles, which Usually those disappear by the time a Mactans, Latrodectus Mactans, gets this big. Usually, once they get this large, their entire body is black, except for that distinctive bright red hourglass. But this individual has some abnormally strong and bold patterning. You can see that they build this very large tangly web around that covers all the way up to the window up here. It covers the this little corner on the side. It goes all the way almost towards the bottom about halfway down this ledge right here a very expansive web but where this spider lives is a very tiny part right in the middle all the way at the back they make this kind of cone shaped very tightly wound home right in the middle where they stay nice and put most of the time throughout the day waiting for unlucky insects to make their way into that big cob web now these spiders are a member of the family Theridiidae, which are known as the cobweb spiders because of these types of webs that they make right here. But unusually for cobweb spiders, black widows and widow spiders in the genus Latrodectus in general have an abnormally toxic venom. Most members of the family Theridiidae are completely harmless to humans, while they still have venom is not nearly as toxic as that of the widow spiders. Now you might wonder, why is the black widow so striking coloration? Sorry about the car noises, but why is the Black Widow so bold in coloration? As you can see, it sticks out like a sore thumb from this white wall behind me. And I can guarantee to you, it would also stick out a, a more natural area where there's more tree coverage, more cover on the ground like rocks and logs where you'd naturally find these Black Widows. That is actually a trait that is called aposomatic coloration, which means that these Black Widows are warning predators to not mess with them at all. And that is why I am not handling this one at all. I have handled black widows before, but this one is a massive one. She has eggs, she's getting ready to lay eggs. Don't wanna bother her doing that. These have that famous red hourglass on the bottom. So if I were to bother this black widow right here behind me with a stick or with my finger, which I'm not gonna do because I don't wanna mess with it too much, it would crawl up to a spot in this web where it is completely visible. And especially if it's in open sun, it will flash its bright colorations on the bottom, including that red hourglass, and stretch its legs out so it look as large as possible, and that bright red hourglass is gonna stick out against the black base coloration of the entire spider's body. And that is almost certainly gonna startle any predator that comes into contact with this spider trying to eat it before it even knows that it's in contact with the black widow. To us humans, this spider, while it is technically life-threatening and it's venom is actually more toxic than that of rattlesnake venom. These, while not necessarily deadly, can still cause some very bad symptoms, even compared to other widow spider species here in Florida. They can, unlike most other spiders, cause systemic effects like nausea, dizziness, and feeling like you're gonna die for a few days. Some pretty intense swelling possibly around the bite site. But still, this species right here is not necessarily anything to worry about, but still something to be respectful of in these areas and something to just absolutely appreciate 
leave alone in its very important niche out here in these ecosystems, especially in these urban areas. We need to make sure that these black widows are protected because the invasive brown widows are very common in the urban areas like this and have been known to be able to outcompete and even eat black widow spiders. I don't want to tempt my fate, I've already handled the black widow once, I've handled the red, I've handled the brown. But seeing one this massive and in such a disturbed area like this is just absolutely amazing and I needed to feature it with you guys here. I hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing spider with me. It's time to leave this amazing creature alone right back in this urbanized environment and hope that it keeps catching insects and keep these populations of insects under control out here in urban northern Florida. Now, uh, I had something in mind, I had something in mind, ah, I was going to say something, uh, is not anything black widow spider. Oh. Ha 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 ha.